Good morning students. Welcome to English class. So today we will see part 2 of 2.2 that is the three questions. Let's see where did we stop. So students, we saw that the king went to the hermit to seek his help that is to get answers of his three questions. While doing so, the hermit told the king that the man was running towards them so now let us see who was the man and why was he running towards them come to page number 53 last pair of the page the king turned round and saw a bearded man coming running out of the forest the man held his hands pressed against his stomach and blood was flowing from under them when he reached the king he fainted and fell to the ground moaning feebly the king and the hermit unfastened the man's clothing there was a large wound in his stomach the king washed it as well as he could and bandaged it with his handkerchief and a towel the hermit had but the blood would not stop flowing and the king again and again removed the bandage soaked with warm blood and wash and rebandage the wound but at last the blood stopped flowing the man revived and asked for something to drink the king brought some fresh water and gave it to him this para conveys the man came running towards them and fell down with his hands pressed on his stomach and the blood was gushing from his stomach because he was wounded the king acted quickly and told the hermit please give me a bowl of water we have to dress his wound and save him the hermit ran into the, his hurt and brought a bowl of water the king and the hermit removed the man's dress and saw that there was a big cut on his stomach the king washed it with water and bandage it tightly with his handkerchief but the blood flow did not stop so he removed the bandage and redressed it again and again and again until the bleeding stopped the man recovered a bit and he asked for some water the king quickly brought him some fresh water he drank it and after some time he fainted again moving to the next para Meanwhile the sun had set and it had become cool so the king with the hermit's help carried the wounded man into the hut the man lay there quietly with his eyes closed by now the king was so tired after his work he had done that he lay down himself and also fell asleep when he woke up in the morning it took his some time to remember where he was and who was the strange bearded man lying by his side and gazing intently at him forgive me said the bearded man in a weak voice when he saw that the king was awake and was looking at him i don't know you and i have nothing to forgive you for said the king children this para tells that the king and the hermit carried him inside the hut and laid him on a cot to rest but by then it was too late and the king was too tired to travel for a long distance working all day and then helping this man he was so tired that he too lay down on the floor and went to sleep the king was too tired that he slept for several hours when he woke up it was almost morning at first the king could not understand where he was or who was that man who was laying beside him who looked very hurt after a while the king remembered that he was in the hermit's hut and they have helped the wounded man yesterday When the man saw the king was awake he said to the king O king 
फकीव मी द किंग सेड यू हैव डन नथिंग रॉन्ग आई डोंट इवन नो यू वाई आर यू सो सॉरी टू मी वाई आर यू आस्किंग मी फॉर फगीवनेस लेट सी वॉट द वेड मैन सेड यू डो नॉट नो मी बट आई नो यू आई एम दैट एनिमी ऑफ योर्स हु स्वर टू रिवेंज हिम सेल्फ ऑन यू बिकॉज यू एग्जीक्यूटेड his brother and seize his property i knew you had gone alone to see the hermit and i resolved to kill you on your way back but the day passed and you did not return so i came out of my ambush to find you your bodyguards recognized me and wounded me i escaped from them but would have bled to death had you not dressed my wound I wish to kill you but you have saved my life now if i leave and if you wish i will serve you all my life this para conveys that the man told the king you don't know me but i know you i know that you are a king i even knew that you were coming to meet the hermit yesterday on hearing this the king commented right but how did you know that the bearded man told actually you are my enemy not long ago you killed my brother and seized his property you took away all our property i was very very angry and wanted to take revenge from you so yesterday i came to know that you were coming alone to meet the hermit so i hid in the bushes waiting for you to return from hermit's place i planned to kill you on your way back children just imagine how shocked the king might be after hearing all this the king asked then what happened how did you get hurt the man said since you did not come back for a long time i came out of my hiding place your guards immediately recognized me and attacked somehow i managed to escape and i ran from there but if you hadn't treated me yesterday if you would hadn't helped me i would have bled to death i plan to kill you and you saved my life oh great king i ask for your forgiveness if i leave i'll be your loyal servant till the end of my life let's see what happened next the king was very glad to have made peace with an enemy so easily and to have gained him for a friend he not only forgave him but said he would send his men and his own physician to attend to him the king then took leave of him and went out of the hut to look for the hermit before going away he wished once more to beg for an answer to the questions he had asked the hermit was outside on his knees sowing seeds in the beds that had been dug the day before the parrot conveys The king was so happy. The king was happy to re-establish friendship with this bearded man. He said, "I am glad to become your friend. I'll give you your property back. I'll also send my doctor and servants to look after you." Children, see how kind the king is. Even though this man came to kill him, the king didn't have any grudges for him. In fact, he became friend with his enemy. and even promised to help him ahead by providing doctor to him children can we be as forgiving as this king yes we should be yes let's see ahead and it was the time for the king to go back to his palace everybody was waiting for him in his kingdom but before he went he wished to get answers to his questions and he decided to try one more time so he went to the hermit the hermit was working in his garden 
he was sowing seeds in the flower beds that they dug yesterday children do you remember that they were digging the ground yesterday yes they were preparing it for the garden and the hermit was sowing seeds let's see what happened next the king approached him and said for the last time i pray you to answer my questions wise men so the king went to him and said oh wise hermit it's time for me to go i beg you to answer my questions the hermit said you have already been answered said the hermit still crouching on his thin legs and looking up at the king who stood before him so children to the king's surprise the hermit replied that your questions have been already answered the king was so confused he was sh- sure the, that the hermit didn't give him any answer to his question so how come the hermit is telling me that my questions are already been answered let's see children what does the hermit mean so next what do you mean asked the king so the king asked the hermit that what does he mean do you not see replied the hermit if you would have not pitied my weakness yesterday and stayed to dig these beds for me you would have gone back and been killed by that man so the most important time was when you were digging the beds and i was the most important man and to do me good was your most important business afterwards the most important time was when you were attending to that man for if you would not bound his wounds he would have died without having made peace with you so he was the most important man and what you did for him was your most important business remember then there is only one time that is important now it is most important time because it's the only time when we have any power the most necessary person is the one with whom you are for you do not know whether you will ever have dealing with anyone else and the most important thing is to do this person good because for that purpose alone were you sent into this life written by leo tolstoy children this para conveys on the king confusion the hermit started explaining the hermit asked the king what would have happened if you would have not pitied me and helped me yesterday and then the king said if i would have not helped you obviously i would have gone back and this bearded man who was hiding in the bushes and was waiting for me to return would have killed me then the hermit said yes right so yesterday the most important time was when you were helping me that is when you were digging the beds the most important person was me that is the hermit and the most important business that is the thing was to help me dig the beds only because you did all that you are alive now if you would have gone back you would have wish that you would have stayed back and help me you would have regretted going back the king now understood a bit and the hermit continued to explain he further said you see the most important time is now that is the present time children here i would recall one quote i have heard one quote which says that yesterday is a history tomorrow is a mystery 
and today is a gift of god and that's the reason we call it present so the hermit said the most important time is now because only now we have the power to do something only now we have the power to act or to take actions and the most important person is the one who is with you now and the most important thing that is you have to do is to do good for that person because we don't know what is going to happen in the future we don't know whether we will meet any good people in our life so what we have to do now is to do good to the people who are with us now and the hermit concluded that we have been sent to this earth only with a specific purpose my dear children have you ever wondered why did god bring us in this world why did the god create us what is the purpose of our life have you ever thought on it and the answer which the hermit gave and here the hermit is giving the answers to the qu- uh, sorry to the king's question or i can see he is not only answering the king's question but also answering our questions what is our purpose of life on this earth the hermit said that we have only one purpose that is to do good for others so children that was all about the story i hope you have followed it so that's it thank you hope to meet you soon